Alright, this video we're just going to be looking at a few things. The first thing is Mandela effects. What you got is extreme weather. Obviously, we've been having that accelerations of earthquakes, as Jesus says in Matthew 24. But what we're getting is uh, large islands appearing. Now, you're not going to get that through global warming, as they tell you that the sea levels are going to rise, but nobody's telling you that islands are going to appear out of uh, nowhere. There is a reference to it in the Bible that Jesus talks about islands disappearing and stuff like that, which I've done a video about. I'll leave a link to it. But uh, this one is just off the coast of North Carolina. Um, this is just the over flooding of uh, Michigan. Destruction of roads. Uh, this is from Christian Man Triple Seven channel, and here is the island. Let's just uh, play that from the start again. I just don't want to get the music in this in case there's any copyright has formed off of North Carolina. It is a mile long, about 300 yards wide, and appeared off the tip of Cape Point near the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Officials say the current around it is as strong as a rip current, so visitors should not try to walk or swim to it. Right, so, uh, but this is, I mean, you can see Lone Eagle's channel, and uh, he's noted the, the changes in the landscape all over the world and the fact that there's just islands appearing all the time um, you know it's uh, <clears throat> maybe a few of them are getting reported a few of the very obvious ones are getting reported but the ones further out in the coast are just uh, not being reported so yeah this is the other thing I did notice it myself at the time even though Donald Trump's been doing a, quite a lot of good things uh, what the deal seems to be is uh, even though maybe he's doing a few good things, he's uh, really trying to bring this RFID chip in. And just going to look at that briefly. We will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. For years, Congress has required biometric entry exit visa tracking systems but it has never been completed. The politicians are all talk, no action, never happens, never happens. Hillary Clinton, all talk. Unfortunately, when there is action, it's always the wrong decision. Yeah. Well, we think in this case, uh, you know, we're glad that this RFID chip hasn't been brought in, but again, if it's the Lord's will, it's going to happen, but uh, this is a mark of the beast. Make no mistake about this. In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. Again, just uh, references to the beasts from the sea, um, beasts from the land and so on. Um, this is a mark of the beast he's talking about here. Again, just 100% uh, make no mistake about it of a president to hang in the Oval Office for inspiration and remembrance. Andrew Jackson. While on the surface, having a portrait of the seventh president may seem harmless enough. However, Jackson was the president that signed the Indian Removal Act that resulted in the Trail of Tears. He was also a slave owner and opposed the idea of a national banking system. Of course, Trump's choice for the presidential portrait, painted by Ralph Eliezer Whiteside Earl, brought upon a load of controversy for the 45th president. Trump said he chose Jackson because he was an amazing figure in American history and that he was very unique in so many ways. Yeah, so I mean, again, the mark of the beast is about enslaving humanity in a microchip, um, make it look as if it's for their, their freedom to keep their freedoms, but in fact they're giving up all their freedoms. Not only physical, uh, mental, you know, uh, political, they're giving up their spiritual freedom um, to the beast, to Satan, uh, because this microchip is going to alter people's minds it's going to 
um, send frequencies into their minds that's going to cause all kind of uh, well all kind of problems I was, I was going to say it's going to be sort of like mind control many videos done on that of course the other day Donald Trump banned the, the transgenders from serving in the military I don't know about gays I think they're still allowed to serve but he's banned transgenders which I suppose is a, a good thing you know, according to biblical principles. Possible has assembled a to-do list. One, crack the code on how the brain processes information. Two, develop the technology to tap into, even steal, thoughts. Three, perfect the means to remote control another person's action. Hey everybody, uh, yesterday you might heard that the uh, first US space company is microchipping the employees. Well, based on that fact, what's so special, what I'm trying to say here, you might heard this message many times from the world, all over, again and again, from the Christians' perspective, they were saying that this is a mark of the beast, simple. Triple six, which is six six six, is that's me. That means mark of the beast, as Bible says in the Revelation. We will go a little deeper in that extra. Guess what? I'm going to tell you the same thing. Yes, it is the mark of the beast. But in this time, I'm going to give you a little further information, with the depth information, why it is the mark of the beast. Something different. We understand the microchip has been released, and uh, as soon as it's released in U.S and become really famous and everyone talking about it, yes, of course. The thing is, as soon as I heard this message, I, I started to do some research. Research in a sense, where this microchip coming from and who produced it, who manufactured it. And I come to understanding that it was manufactured by the company called Biohex. Biohex. And we will come to that a little deeper later too. But when you go to that company website and it's, it's called Biohacks International, it's a company, it's based in Sweden, okay? And uh, including the logos uh, means something. They, out of nowhere, they have named this microchip, the NFC tag, N tag 216, 216. What that to do with this? What I'm trying to say? Simply, let's cut it quicker. 216. Think about it. 6 times 6, 36. 36 times 6, 216. Oh, coincident, eh? Do you think that's coincident? No. As a mark of the beast, they're trying to tell us, hey, this is a mark of the beast. So, yeah, um, I'll leave a link below. 1318 here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the numbers number of the beast for the number is that of a man and his number is 666 there's few things I like to point out here that first the first company, the US space company, the name itself, many people can say it's coincidence, but think about it. The first company is tag, it's called Wisconsin. Wis, if I break it into three things, Wis, wisdom, con, also, that's another meaning I like to tell you, and sin, of course, sin, Wisconsin. And also, before I go to the detail, detailized information, whoever produced this, they're also the manufacturer of these products, is called Foxconn. Why these people are trying to bring that con, C-O-N information? Let me tell you also another thing. Why this bio, out of nowhere, the bio world came out also? Also, you can, it's, it's American standard text, which can be converted into a computer language. We also call hex mode. I don't want to go deep into that. But when you convert this 
word C O N. Okay, you can do it by yourself later and convert this. You can see the hex mod is 636 F6C, which is 666. It's not a coincidence again. And let's say I'm gonna put a word bio B I O. Simple, right? Convert that to hex mode. 62, 69, 6F, which is 666. Is it coincidental? I don't think so. So bio, con, everything that in a hex conversion says triple six. And here they publicly they're challenging, they're telling you people that this biochips call NTAC 216, which is triple six. What else do you want to know? What else you want me to prove to you? It's in your face. It's in, in front of you. Simply, they're mocking you people. They're simply, they're mocking. They know what's about to come. Christians are crying out loud. They're saying, hey, this is the mark of the beast. Still, people don't want to believe it. And many people just take it as a joke. <laughs> Think about it, people. This is not a joke. They specifically chose the name Tag 216, NTAG 216. They could have come up with some other random names. Why did they have, why in this world he came up with this number 216? And Biohacks, the company name itself, obviously 666, Bio, S, Con, 666. All, all this leads into one path, which is a path to hell, which is 666. Right, well. Hope I've shown you about, you know, the islands appearing, uh, these are Mandela effects, um, signs in the sky, many of those, uh, the past few weeks, smoke rings, massive black rings moving in the sky, etc, etc, um, various new species of animals, you know, rainbow trees, um, and so on, uh, these are Mandela effects and also the mark of the beast is coming in as well uh so let's be in prayer guys thanks for watching